Welcome back. I'm playing Total War Troy, and this is our Hector campaign on the mythology setting. We are totally destroying Mesia, and we need to manually fight this battle because it says I'm going to lose a lot of guys, probably because my hero is only level 3. But my army is so much better than theirs that it's really a non-factor. Just the archers alone could probably take out most of these guys. Oops. My mistake. Two. Three. The there we go. Receiving reinforcements. Oh, my poor archers. Just can't quite get there. Your warriors have spotted hidden foes. Probably. Start shooting them. Send all your guys to me. Come on. No, you want to. Oh, he's got a chariot. This guy must actually be a reasonably high level dude. Your hero is under attack. Come on, guys, just Victory shoot in. Is close enough to taste. Oh, come back over here. Don't let Odysseus shoot you up. Do it right, get rewarded. Another one bites the dust. We will oh. gain victory. That won't work. Can we fight this yet without Attack having up. devastating losses? Hit 
them now. Apparently Victory not. Victory beckons. Bring them down. For victory. But if they're half injured and dead, I'm improving all the time. I might be strong enough to actually run away. Not possible. And let you be able to attack another place. Show me blood. Break some heads. Doing Hades work. Yeah, you just stay there for a little I bit. Bring the page. Bring their deaths. I see these guys are all. Too strong. Kill them all. Of course, because I didn't think he was going to reinforce you, I wasted my healer. It's ours now. Where's this Athena? Get rid of it. Get you here. Unchallenged in battle. War makes the man. Hector. Hector is on the move. I love a challenge. Full hand. Up anchor. Glory awaits us. On the move. Upgrades coming. I live for battle. Get that. I'll make my mark. Get that. We will go down in history. Get that, I guess. But you don't have any equipment on. Is this bullshit? What is going on here? Hmm. Strange. It will be epic. Get in there. The yeah, you're still working. Go ahead and do that, I guess. Alright. 
I really would like to go get going to war to Crete. How many more turns do I have before I can break this? Yes, Hector of Troy in six. six more turns. Okay. Well, we can position our guys. That's not a problem. Yeah, right. It's just the buildings I put in there is worth more than 7,000. Alright, let's get rid of the sea attrition. over. Alright. Make them pay. Boy, he's still for victory. Holding off there, huh? I love a challenge. Let's see if I reinforce Nothing here. Wrong. If I can Get maybe fight there. this one. Engage there we the go. Enemy. This place is ours now. We will go down in history. I can make loose talk. All right, come there. Get some commandments. Problem is it takes so long to get there. Damn, from a distance. To glory. Start upgrading our settlements. Actually, I never upgraded this building. Give me that movement. Pan 
speak to me. My request will be offered in all humility. Critical success. Keep the ritual. I invoke sacred favor. I court divine retrieval. Your patron will smile upon the people. Become immortal. Look at all this nice stuff going for me. Yeah, I wish they would. Creep would go to war against me. Cause I'm a little worried. That these guys are going to start doing stupid stuff. Hopefully not. Got four places left there. you down here. Can move can past there. Send them packing. We're taking over. Fighting for Ares. They won't see me coming. For battle. Yeah. Break some heads. Bring them down. We're getting there. I won't let you down. Show me blood. This place is ours now. Poison. Mistress of Portents. Let's keep our upgrades going. Oh, 
Fighting war. Send them packing. Make me proud. I'll do it right. Uh, I thought maybe that was going to be the last place, but he's also got this freaking place down here that I got to go. Now we've got to go to war with Crete, but boy, this campaign's coming to an end pretty quickly here. I don't know if there was balancing issues or if I just steamrolled it because I've done these campaigns a little bit, but this definitely seemed like the easiest campaign out of all of them. I don't know who has more places. They both got armies up here. Offer non aggression military access. Get rid of that. Single offer. I'm about to go on an upgrading. Get the light infantry bonus going. So these guys got four. Taking over. Nice. Loyal to the last. Ship moving. My shady skin for yours. There is no substitute for the honors. Prince Hector. He just gave up. Attack us one. Let our prisoners go. I'll win. What I try? Yeah, see. Ah, let's just give you that, I guess. You know, you don't have any clubmen. Oh, 
How far can I get you? To here. Do that. I ask for your support. Apollo is almost up. No, it's not almost. He is. I thought there was something that gave me a campaign movement. Yeah. I right, go ahead and do that. I guess. Troy's finest warrior. Serve you well. You continue there. I guess let's start pulling you guys down. War is in my blood. Getting ready to go fight Crete. Rage or Ares Rage, whatever it is. Forging war. Get you a looted battle. Victory. And let's start maxing out our construction. I don't even care. I just want. The stuff to be full. So I'm not getting flagged every turn. Sure, I'll do that. I don't know what it does. You guys fight it out amongst yourselves. Hey, thank you. We might as well try talking for right, what it's good. worth. Good. Two more turns. Perfect. So we're going to need a couple of armies around here. Since I think we're going to go to war with each other, we're both positioning ourselves for that. Victory. Praise Poseidon. 
Man, he's got tons of armies moving around here. Defender of Troy. An impractical suggestion. With courage. Alright, I don't have another level 5 place around here, do I? Because I kind of hate to keep recruiting from up top here. But I also don't exactly feel like I need a whole bunch of more armies. Let me just do that, get that going. I guess I could do compassionate. That's what it's going to be, most likely. Peaceful. Oh, well, sure. Now that I don't really need them, now I'm getting all of them, huh? I love a challenge. My skills are their downfall. All right, come show me what you can do. Antagonus. Agamemnon's greed knows no bounds, and he has now turned his drive to conquest upon you. Do not think that this vow is of mere anger, little king, for my desire of your destruction is utterly rational. The bound bounty of your lands shall be mine, as will the rest of the world, for I am Lord Agamemnon, the fated ruler of all men. It is it was only a matter of time until the tyrant Amasia sought your downfall. The moment has come to make your stand. That's fine. Because I'm about to come fight him too. Problem with this, though, is of the not an option. I love a challenge. 
that I'm going to need to stay like this. Agreed. Because he's got two armies. I still can't go to war with Crete, right? One more turn. If Hector of Troy yeah. ensue. That's fine. What the hell? Interesting. Glory awaits us. Heading the road. Aries. That's Apollo. We will go down in history. Interpret the will of the gods. Remove obstacles. Line of sight. All right. Well, we're gonna have quite the. Uh Quite the battles happening here. I don't know why. See, now I can't get it back to having a military alliance with them. Now it's our sworn to support each other if attacked. The strongest form of treaty. When signed, it replaces a defensive alliance. Yeah, see, I don't understand how this works. Divine Guard of Zeus, sure, why not? that going. And now it's going to be time to start fighting. Troy leans too much on its reputation. There is... Well, it will be epic. 
Prince Hector. I'll break the enemy. Let's have you come here. I'll make my mark. And up here. Take them out. Take the souls. And that's how it's done. I think that's how you level. Sailing out. For glory. Bring the pain. Creed actually has a decent army here. Take the souls. My reputation grows. I'll win or die trying. You can't reach him. Analeas is over here. Companion of Ares. Hey, Cerebus gained a level. Shades Wrath. Grant Shade's Wrath attribute exploding in a radius of death to all Shade units. Minus recruitment costs. Grant Shade Battlefield Healing to all Shade units, which can restore a depleted unit to full strength by bringing back full entities. Oh. Slaves Beyond Death. When Cerebus in the region, plus 30 income from sacking. Shit. Grant Shade Battle Field Healing to all Shade units, which can restore a depleted unit to its full strength by bringing back. Well, that seems like it would be good. Let's do Blessing of the Underworld. And your morale is up, and your armor is up. To victory! Armed and ready! Alright, next hero. State your orders. Death or glory. Break some heads. <laughs> Take it over. Progress feels good. Oh, we got a werewolf or something? Oh, that's the new carbon. I forget what you call him. Bring the pain. <laughs> it's ours now. Victory beckons. Bring them down. Go at them. Keep sieging them. This place is ours now. Yeah, we're just munching right along. Defending all. For oh, victory! This place is ours now! You can count on me! We've got a long hike. Poseidon protect us. That's beyond me. Warm 
makes the man. To battle! Hero material! One more turn, huh? I live for this. For victory! We've increased our territory. War makes the man. Ship moving. I love a challenge. Doing Hades' work. <laughs> Let's get you a prayer to Athena. So I can keep my survivability going. Duration area. Let's do area. We will claim victory. Armor of missile units. I keep the rituals. My request will be offered in all humility. Indulge those who show respect. Solve your problems. Okay, go ahead. Terra. I don't even need that. Might as well just get rid of that too. be good for now. So we've kicked them in the pants pretty hard. Crete's got nine places left. You want to confederate. Although if you guys could go to war and take that from them, then I will have those on my part of my bot, although, hmm, it would be more, yeah, I think I'm going to end up just confederating with them. I'd like to, I'm fleet. I don't even need to worry about it anymore. Hades work. I so 
occur without question. Gold is a rare resources. Only provide 10% of its production. Okay, so it still makes sense to put money into it. It just uh, will only give you 10%. I was always curious how that worked because I knew it was a finite resource. What do we got here? Oof, these guys are moving around, circumventing me. Defender of Troy. Oh, and the Hydra's back. of the shimmering hell. The Troy's defense. Totally fine with that. They can go free. Moving to position. I fight for my city. Prince Hector. Hidden Island. Companion of Ares. All right, let's get that. Fighting fit. The Hydra's here. Always with us. I'll apply some perspective to the problem. Fate was against your enemy. Plot disruptor. Enemies beware. All right, now I we got these back. guys. State your orders. Bring them down. Anchors away. We will go down in history. Get at them. Low tier army. Let the captives go. What I don't like is that he's still got these Not guys really. around, and I don't know which way he's gonna go. We will claim victory. So maybe we'll just move you guys up here. Wait for them to show us what they wanna do. Get that going. It will be epic! Move you over here. I've got what it takes. You Move you over I... here. And we're marching our way across. Massacre them. We're taking over. In Ares' name. 
loyal to the last. Enemies beware. Got a new commandment. You run you down here. No one gets through. Got you. That's one turn, and that'll be ready. Yeah, you can't do it. I'll make my mark. Uh, sure, why not? Get the get those buildings upgraded. to do that. Start going through our constructions. Let's finish all this stuff off. check my agents because I think I forgot to move some of them. Hiding over here. I wonder if they took out Crete's guys. I'll win or die trying. Or sail. Well, let's put War you both fight. over here. Weapons ready. War makes the match. Let's run you over here. I'll do it run right. you over there. Show me blood. our first victory. And it looks like because it's playing the battle music, it's gonna supersede the music for the ending here. So 
I will play this for the next one so we don't have to listen to the victory music the whole time. But you can see how we've gone here. We have 181 regions, 49 provinces. So things I would have done differently, go to war with these guys a lot quicker. It's because you have those treaties so you got to break them pretty much as soon as you can. And then you also need to go to war with these guys up here because that objective wants you to take this. And these guys never freaking um, form a military alliance where you need to get that province there. And then you could start creeping up this way and then send a second army to come down this way and start consolidating down here. Otherwise, Sir Paradon will take a lot of this stuff, which isn't the end of the world, but you got to be careful that uh, he doesn't go against you. Because I have had campaigns where Sir Paradon actually goes to war with Troy, the faction of Troy, and that can be a big pain in the butt when that happens. But you need to get this up here so you can keep those epic missions going, because that's probably the easiest way for you to become Priam's heir, is by getting all those points. And for each one of the uh, landmarks you get, you get a new ability for your character, uh, for Hector. So a new trade or whatever you call them. So that'll help boost them. That's how you should do it. And uh, I did not remember what the epic missions were. If I would have gone back and looked into that, I would have done that. Otherwise, a lot of the other stuff is pretty much the same. Uh, navigating the diplomacy so you don't end up going to war with a bunch of factions. I really don't understand why Achilles was so independent of everybody else over here because it really just kind of fractured these guys' as unifying forces. And it was weird that I was able to make so much peace. But I guess that's one of the advantages of using uh, Athena and some of the other powers and uh, getting yourself to be so powerful. Now, the one thing that's a little bit interesting is you get your antagonist, I think, at uh, turns, what is it, 60, 75, something like that. If you're number one for too long, you can actually get your antagonist ahead of that. So just be aware if you're steamrolling too quickly that you can end up uh, really causing some harm here. But as you can see, we're kind of coming around, consolidating all this stuff. This is our color here as we're moving things here. And then we just exploded over here, taking all this stuff out in those turns. And just making sure you're aware of who the enemies and allies are. Get lots of resources and then just being really careful with once you start getting alliances because you can fracture things. But yeah, you can just see we're exploding, coming across the top here, consolidated all down here because we became Prime's heir, which consolidated everything. Um, that's our Paedon had, and then Dardania stayed by itself, and we're just exploding over here, gonna meet up over here, take up that top, come down here, and then exploding over here. So, I'm still a little frustrated with the AI that they don't capture more places. It seems like after you get to war, you start sieging, they become a lot less aggressive and just kind of peter out. And that's really frustrating because you want a solid ally because if you do mess up the diplomatic game, you really need your ally to help uh, act as a shield to stop all these armies from coming out after you. So... All right, Trojan total war victory is done. Now we just gotta kill Macy and then we'll get our homework victory. Never faltering. Under sail. Setting course. A well-placed blade can avert. Why can I not? Kill the Hydra. Troy's finest warrior. Bolster the defenses. To victory! You can't kill the mythic monster. I don't know what to do with that then. I think not. I love a challenge. Let's just keep getting this stuff going then. Hero material. 
Ontario. Alright, good. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. My tactics always work. Get in there. This place is ours now. Come fight me, guys. Got any more? Places over here. Good and ready. Make them pay. We've increased our territory. Battle called. Don't hold back. Kill them all. It's ours now. Fighting for Ares. To war! That will never work. I will serve you well. We will claim victory. Hit them now! Take it over. Just steamroll on them. For glory! Poseidon protect us. Praise Poseidon. Pick. 
those we need. I will gather local knowledge. Will to the last. Sage battles. I'll break the enemy. I'm just kind of hiding down here. Give up faltering. I guess we should get you over this way. My skills are their downfall. That from Poseidon. And let's get Apollo up a little bit more. Favored or cursed, I may divine the get these things going. I interpret the will. In sacrifice and prayer, we court the gods. And then just using these guys to keep your buildings up. Alright, Odysseus, are you gonna kamikaze yourself into me or what? I live for this. As you said, let's get you up here. Pledge my loyalty. Just just decided to run down here. Your living shield. Immediately. Forging war. Break some heads. It's ours now. All right, took over Crete. Battle call. Run you up here. And we were looking to come over here. them now get in release right, the prisoners good. nice to be acknowledged there you go now you have the normal audio to listen to So that's our 100% playthrough of the Hector on the mythological setting. 
I don't know. I feel like the price is a bit steep for the DLC content that it has. Um, yeah, it's kind of the div divine interventions are okay. I mean, they're nothing amazing if you want to use Athena to, or not Athena, Aphrodite to try to get another kill on some high value targets to be able to shoot them when they're retreating. That's pretty nice. Um, well, Zeus's lightning bolts are definitely really good against heavy infantry. They really strike down the giants very well. You know, the wave is good for knocking out lightly infantry. So, like, archers that are all blocked together. That's how the AI tend to use it. Uh, Apollo, I think, has healing. Um, another one, I think, has the ability to make your units move faster. I'm not sure what the other ones were. In terms of the mythologic beasts... Uh, kind of an interesting mechanic. I didn't quite know what to expect. So early on, I think I wish I would have gone in there and maybe uh, selected one. So maybe I'll try it again to see how it works with the leveling. Because I didn't understand that they leveled or quite how the whole battle thing went. And that your main character gets to help out. So um, definitely easier. Because I was thinking, oh, if I have to send this party out and fight this legendary battle then maybe I need to have the highest tier units to be able to get in there and get the battle going so in retrospect I should have gotten that done a lot earlier um, probably could have rolled out the other units a little bit quicker too I still feel like when the uh, agents are embedded in your army though they just level too slowly because um, I mean they we've had agents that are there embedded in army almost the whole time and they still didn't get to the max level even though they've you know gone through 140 turns or something like that instead of me just having to keep auto selecting them on the territories and doing it over and over and over and over again that gets to be a little bit frustrating so i wish there was a better way that they could level up the new uh units so they look good uh I think it's kind of cool how the harpies work. Um, I definitely don't like them compared to the uh, other units. So maybe on the historical, I'll go back to having those really awesome javelin harpies because they're amazing. Um, the Hades bowmen would have been great. I didn't understand how this whole replenishment thing worked. Um, so again, if you would have got Cerebus a bit earlier, then you could get uh, their bowmen which has effectively uh, like harpies except with the bow so they got better range so they are a very powerful unit and they have the heavy infantry so as you can see for most of the game us having trouble uh, getting a level 5 territory to be able to get our uh, heavy spearmen whereas if I would have had the uh, Cerebus earlier I could have quickly done that and then I could have maxed out uh, several locations where I was just getting souls every turn to help me get that army going because that certainly would have helped and it would have bypassed a lot of the resource issues um, because you'd just be focusing on the souls and then you wouldn't have to worry about this recruitment cost because, you know, kind of early, uh, well, early on it's not a huge deal, but definitely mid-tier it became a major resource issue. Um, and if I would have got Hephaestus earlier, then that would have solved that because with the bronze that was a huge issue. Um, but that would have been another strategy to use to really make it a lot easier. I don't know what else I would do really for this campaign. The bowmen are obviously great. Getting a nice solid line, boosting their units. Trying to select people that uh, have the legendary status where they don't die. I, I kind of wish all the regular heroes other than the real campaign, I don't think any of them should have the legendary status where they're, you know, this person's gifted for fate, so then he's immortal. That kind of defeats the purpose. I like the thought that some of your heroes will die permanently. Um, now, again, I don't think Hector or Menelaus or any of those ones, because you should have that, because by having your armies kill the enemy heroes, your, uh, hero, your leaders actually get traits uh, that go with that army. So I do think you should be able to keep fighting them, obviously. But, uh, yeah, I wish they had more maps because it definitely gets to be redundant. So you have to cheese a lot of the settlement battles. But once you get a higher tier army, then you can just auto resolve them and not even have to worry about it anymore. Giants are feel like they're too OP. Especially, well, when I had them, they didn't feel, well, no, they still felt pretty OP even when I used them. So I think that they need to be nerfed a little bit. I wish the sirens were a little bit better because 
I don't know, they're flying ranged units, which are kind of cool, but then they get they can just be decimated pretty heavily. Harpies are going to be really good at just taking out enemy um, flyers. The lesser griffin was okay. I mean, I wasn't in love with it, didn't hate it. I just wish they would do more damage because you, it pretty much will just tie up an enemy army. Can be used as a uh, anti-hero to like fight, but giants could do it just as much, and it's not as expensive. Cyclopses definitely feel a lot better because they just seemed like the weaker minotaur's weaker brother, and it definitely seemed to carry itself. I did not get to use a minotaur. Um, this time, which is a little sad about. Didn't get to see the Spartoli or the Corbonis or whatever they're called. So there's definitely some units I wanted to see. Did I fight Amazons or did they all get killed? Yeah, I think I just um, fought some, but didn't really have to do much with that. Yeah, so I think those are just kind of a long rambly closing here, but... Those are my thoughts on playing through this Mythologic. If you're really loving the game, then go ahead and buy it. If not, um, probably wait for it to go on sale. I was willing to spend the money on it because I got the base game for free, and I got the Amazons for free, so I kind of felt compelled to give the company some money just in exchange. But uh, definitely felt like it was expensive for what it was. I think probably uh, you know, $10, $15.00 probably be reasonable but 25 just felt felt steep so hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did please give my channel a like and subscribe to encourage me to post more content for you have a great day